All right, so we're going to look at a spring practice problem. It is included in your worksheet, and it reads, My son Zachary is five today. Oh, I must have written this a really long, written this a long time ago. He's now 15. And my husband thought it would be a good idea to give him a slingshot for his birthday. Sounds about right. Always looking for a teaching moment, I explained the physics to him, and we determined that the rubber band in the slingshot has a spring constant of 44 newtons per meter. If my son applies a force of 9.6 newtons to the slingshot, how far does he stretch it? So, let's imagine I'm going to really simplify this problem. The object that we're interested in is the slingshot. And we're imagining, let's just imagine that here's the end of the slingshot and it has a rubber band. I'm going to model that like a spring. And Zachary is applying a force equal to 9.6 newtons on this slingshot. And we're interested in how far the spring, the rubber band, has been stretched. So if we look at the relationship, if I look at this object and I imagine that we're pulling on this end here, we know that if I draw a free body diagram of that scenario, we have Zachary pulling with a force equal to 9.6 newtons. And we know that the spring is pulling back with a force in the other direction. So here are the two forces acting in this situation. If Zachary is holding that spring steady, we know that the sum of these two forces is equal to zero. So our spring, const our spring force, the magnitude of our force on a spring, is equal to k delta x. And since I'm just looking at magnitude, I'm not going to worry about the direction of that force right now. We're just looking at the size of the force. We're interested in delta x. We know that the force by Zachary plus the force of the spring is going to equal zero. Our sum of our forces is equal to zero, which tells us that the force by Zachary is equal to minus the force of the spring. They're working in opposite directions. The force of Zachary is 9.6 newtons, and the force of the spring is a negative minus k delta x. So this gives us another indication of looking at that, that we're going to look at that magnitude, that size of the force. So 9.6 is equal to k delta x. 9.6, our k value, is 44. And of course, we're interested in delta x. So 44, 9.6 divided by 44 gives us a delta x equal to 0 0.22 meters. So Zachary stretches the spring by 0.22 meters. Really just practicing using that spring force relationship, recognizing that it's working in equilibrium if we um, look at more of a force analysis relationship, and we can see how much the spring is stretched. All right, good job.